Hi everybody, it's Brad and Krista from the Big Family Homestead. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we make at-home calzones. So let's get cracking. So we like to make and do and create and be as self-reliant as we can with as much as we can here at our homestead. And that includes all your lovely deliciousness and, and calzones and pizzas and whatnot. <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> And so today, you guys have asked, uh, how do we make calzones? And Krista's really good at rolling those out. She's got the fingers. Oh yeah. She's <laughs> so, gonna show you the ingredients, and then we're gonna uh, put one together. Well, I'm not. She I is. will. She is. And then we're gonna cook it up, and then we're gonna try and tell you how awesome it is. Be you won't know that until you no. really try it yourself. You won't know, because it cannot be known. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for ingredients, we're talking really, really basic stuff. We don't like boxed up chem chemical nonsense, so we try to stay away from that as much as we can. Now, since we're making a very simple calzone, what you have is some sauce, tomato sauce. You've got some uh, regular mozzarella cheese. We hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and you can't forget your ricotta over there, and then your dough. So from that, let's keep on moving. Oh, lovely. Hi. Okay, so we basically are getting ready to roll out this dough, but before we do, you don't want to have sticky stickiness on your countertop or on your fingertips. Nope. So uh, we do have a video of how we make the dough. I will put a link, but look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, this will not stick. So you've got your dough ball here, and try not to manipulate it too much. Just, uh, just set it down on your board and just start to roll it out. And what are you looking for? Uh, just a nice soft dough, and then you just try and make it as much of a circle as you possibly can. And uh, how big will that circle be there, Baby Cakes? About 12 to 14 inches. That's not very circular. Shut up. <laughs> make it yourself, then. I just might. So it looks like we got it about right. You're saying about 12 to 14 inches, uh, somewhere in there. Is that circular enough for you? It's about as big as my head, I suppose. So <laughs> What's next? We're gonna put some semolina flour on the, on the board. On if our pizza you, peel. If you don't have semolina flour, you can use a, a fine cornmeal. It's, it's just basically to make your pizza or calzone slide off your board. Not sticky. Not sticky. Okay. Next, you're gonna transfer the dough onto that semolina pizza peel. And now comes the good part, the stuffers. Dressing. Okay, so now everybody has their own system of doing things in their kitchen, and so my role now is I get to do the stuffings with the sauce and the whatnot, so here we go with that part. All right, first on goes your sauce. You can uh, check out our recipe for a pizza sauce. You can clearly tell that I am not an Italian guy and I have never worked in an Italian restaurant. Well, that's not exactly true. I did wash dishes in one once. But you just want to get it on about half of the calzone and you make sure that you leave enough of the edge free of stuff so that Krista can wrap it up all nicely. Next, it's just ingredients. It's really whatever the heck you want on it. Um, we go with mozzarella. <laughs> Just get enough in there where it's gonna be nice and bubbly. And we also hit it with a little bit of Parmesan of cheese. Yummy. And then, you can't forget your ricotta. And then, Krista will do her thing. Now this is gonna get all melty and yummy, so don't worry if it's kinda, you know, not all uniform exactly. But there you go, I'm turning it over to the master, or mastress, whatever you wanna call her. All right, honey, your turn. Show us how to do this. All right. So, fold it over, and then just, you press with your thumb, and press with your finger over your thumb. So you roll it over, you wrap it? Wrap it around. Okay. Ooh, nice nail polish. Pressing it just so that it'll stick together. Ooh. 
Looky there. And when you get to this side, you fold this side in. Just kind of press that in. And voila, you have a pre-baked delight. Just a quick note on the temperature. Um, pizzas and calzones do really, really well at super hot temperatures, but the problem is that these at-home ovens don't go hot enough. Ours limit is uh, 550 degrees, and we actually use a baking stone. It's like a pottery baking stone. That helps, uh, but just basically make sure that you can get your oven as hot as you can safely, safely, that's the, operating term safely get it and I definitely recommend a pizza stone baking stone so there you have it all right so everything's ready to go and we go into the oven and you're gonna just want to keep an eye on it depending on the heat of your oven uh, the, the times can be different we basically only have to put ours in there for less than 10 minutes okay the moment of truth here we go calzone city oh man Holy smokes, listen to this. I bet that is gonna be awesome. Nice thin crust. Ooh yeah. Okay, here we go. Going in, check this calzone out. It is toasty. Would you look at that steam come out? Ooh! Open her up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Bang zoom. Oh. Party in my mouth, ready to happen, engage, here we go. All right, here we go, check that out. Yummy awesomeness, baby cakes, here we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. My cakes. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. So there you have it, party people of YouTube. You can make calzone, not hard. Check out the other recipes. We've got the dough, mm -hmm. we've got the sauce. There's even an Italian sausage sauce, which is so ridiculous. Good. So good. Anyway, there it is. Uh, Brad and Krista from Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day. An amazing day. An amazing day.